The drama in the last episode, man, it was just unbelievable. To draw PSG and to actually beat them in the first leg, it was outrageous. Jonathan David helped make that happen and also a red card, but whatever, we've got the advantage from that first leg. And as this tweet says, next episode, the second leg, well, we're here. And in this episode, we're going to find out whether we make the semis or not. I promise you right now, we did this. Doesn't matter what anybody says, they can say it's disrespectful. I don't think I've ever been this nervous for the game. That second leg in Paris is going to be scary. I'm, I'm already shaking at this point. That's going to be so frustrating to go through, but we need to get the job done. Liverpool, Bayern away at us. Maybe it's Man City, maybe Atletico, maybe Leverkusen, of course. I want to draw Leverkusen or Valencia. We'll see about that for now. Focus is all on PSG. Okay, what's this? Spotify wrapped. Um, you spent over 830 hours listening to that's a potential goal of the season contender this year. Um, probably. Fair enough. Leaked S2 GFC manager has been caught listening and jamming to Jonathan David's new song, Tappin, featuring I Never Tackle and I Always Sit Up Front. Guys, what is up with this Jonathan David tap-in memes? The man scores finesse shots from outside the box, good long ranges, and fairly decent goals, man. Un unfair criticism, I say. Well, let's be nice. Yeah. Let's be nice. We don't have to go there. <laughs> I've spent 10 hours listening to Love Me Again because David taps the ball in so frequently. What does that even mean? What do you mean by that? Okay, that is certainly an ice cold image. I mean, look at that. Neymar, Matic, Dominguez, Tanganga, all in their suits. Love it. My analysis on Benaton Pavid. Tappin Merchant only performs against farmers. Ghosts in big games. Bottler carried by Harvey Elliott. Famous words, give me penalty. Dives every game. What? He's literally scoring goal after goal against even PSG. This Jonathan David hate hive needs to stop. Just watch it, he's going to destroy PSG. All that Jonathan David hate and he's just scoring goals for fun. That's his response. 35 and 40 games. The man is on a mission. Even Andy Emi didn't put up these kind of numbers. In other news, it's not just the Champions League we've got to worry about in this episode. After that second leg, Liverpool up next soon. And that's a game that's going to decide who wins the Premier League title. At least up to a certain extent. Because I'll show you guys the Premier League table and it's mighty close. Between us, Liverpool and even Chelsea for that matter. It's going to be an unbelievable title race. We need results in both the PSG and the Liverpool game. What an episode we've got here, guys. This is going to be incredible. If you're enjoying the Creative Club series, you know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe if you're new around here, and let's get on the grind. Also, guys, just a quick update. Over on Facebook, I'm going to be starting a brand new Norwich career mode. I'll probably have a link in the description to that. It's going to be a bit of a different series over on Facebook where I'm not going to be playing any of the games, kind of like the fixing series we do, but we're going to have pretty much half a season every single episode. That's what I'm thinking of doing, so it'll be more about transfers and more of the behind the scenes part of career mode. So not a bad series to run on Facebook. So yeah, I think it should be fun if you guys are interested in that, seeing maybe a long term progression with a club like Norwich. I, I think it'd be a fun series and maybe we can maybe do that on YouTube if you guys enjoy it on Facebook. So yeah, check that out on FB. Next up, I think you should switch to a defensive formation after taking lead against big teams. Use five-back formations like 5-2-3 with Vasquez or someone else playing centre-back. Uh, I don't want to do that. That's just against the way we play. Do you guys see a prime Barcelona side switch their formations if things aren't going their way? Nah, man. That's not how I want to play. Not a prime Bayern Munich. You don't see that with any of the top sides. I think we're the top side now with us winning the Premier League last season. We've got to stick with our identity, stick to the formation we play. That's the play style I want to win with. And that's what I'm going to be sticking with. Next up, do you think Jonathan David's impact is already bigger than Nati Yemi? I mean, he's been absolutely beast and scoring more goals than Kareem in his first season at the club, but didn't win as many trophies as Kareem. Kareem marked an era for us, you know, getting from the championship, winning it to the Premier League, helping us win that too, scoring incredible amount of goals in the Champions League. But I just feel Jonathan David 
is about at this rate about to carry us to potentially a treble and I think that would make his legacy greater but you know what I want each one of you guys to drop in a comment who do you think has a better legacy at S2 GFC Kareem Adeyemi or Jonathan David it's a fun question let's see what you guys say next up for your new career mode if you are doing another creator club then do the same thing as what the Red Bull clubs have done same brand different league and name that's exactly what I thought the Red Bull thing has kind of inspired this They've got clubs like RB Leipzig, RB Salzburg, probably a few more. And I kind of want to do that with the Creator Club series. Basically, the story of S2 GFC win after we win the Champions League, I think it's done. Then we move on to Spain. We maybe do the same thing as you're saying, S2 GCF, Club de Football. And start a new era in Spain with a new story. We'll keep the Twitter account, change everything. I think it'd be so much fun. What do you guys think? kind of want to do that boys i kind of want to do that i feel like that would just be amazing so we'll see maybe we'll have a season five in this series itself because there's a good chance we could get knocked out at any point in the champions league but after that kind of want to continue doing creator club i feel like the storytelling through creator club is just so much more fun that's just my opinion but yeah we'll see what happens all that nonsense about jonathan david but what he does is keep winning clear of the episode of what he stepped up big time against psg scored a ton of goals and he keeps winning clear of the episode mind the gap guys at this point it's not even funny look at that Good lord, 14 goals in 9 games in the Champions League. I kid you not, he might end up breaking Ronaldo's goal record of 18 goals. Or was it 17? It was 17 or 18 goals in the Champions League, but only in the quarterfinals. Jonathan David could end up breaking that, and that would be outrageous. That speaks volumes about how good he is. But yeah, the main focus is just knocking out PSG. Marquinhos will be suspended, because he committed the most stupid thing I've ever seen. In that kind of a game. You know what? Roll the clip. Take a look at what Marquinhos did. You have Tanganga driving the ball forward. You love to see it. You love to see it. Looking for a pass for Jonathan David. He gets taken out there. He was the last man. It's a red card for Marquinhos. Let's go, guys. That completely changes this tie. Marquinhos and Jonathan David having a fair few words there. But that completely changes this entire tie. We can now get a sizable advantage before going into that game against Paris. Red card at that stage of the game just uh, so weird. It helped us win 3-2, but we had to still grind for it. But yeah, now that second leg's going to be crazy. But the good thing is we've got that goal to hang on to. It's in our favor, but we got to be away against Juve last season. I'm pretty sure going into the second leg, we were, of course, you know, in the lead and we still bottled it. So can't let that happen here. Got to get through PSG. Well, looks like we'll need to change the kits around because... PSG's home kit. I don't think, yeah, we'll have a color match here. What we'll probably do is wear the away kits and they'll have to wear the away kits too. So just to avoid any sort of a kit clash. Or actually, we'll wear our home kits just because I want to be wearing the home kits for this one. And in terms of a lineup, I'm literally going with my strongest possible 11. I'm not messing about here. We need the result and we need to do it right. Last episode, their lineup here was shown with Z with Ziyech in it and there was Messi playing so that could happen again you just never know Jack Harrison's probably going to play against this former team no Marquinhos they've got from Agnoli to replace him that's a bloody good replacement I must say so myself but we're playing in Paris a trip to Paris we win this and it's semi-finals of the Champions League let's go ah, look at them point out Jack Harrison here as one of their key players number 10 our former player could end up ruining our night. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Paris et Magique. Buenos noches, dias. We're in Paris for the big night. PSG versus S2 GFC. How big is this fixture? The Parc des Princes. We come into this with a slight advantage, but only a slight one. 3-2 from that first leg. Honestly, it should have been a lot more. With that Marquinhos sending off, we had the opportunity of a lifetime to get the better of PSG. We choked it. We were 2-0 down, but ultimately we came back courtesy of a Jonathan David hat-trick, if I'm not wrong. And we got it done. But that leaves us with everything to fight for here in this second leg. PSG. Uh, we're going to have to give everything. We're going to have to give everything. Shane Hume is going to have to be at it. We've built an unbelievable team and we're up against possibly our biggest challenge yet. First leg, we got it done. We got lucky with the red card. Let's see what happens now. Big 90 minutes of football here. And I can confirm, Leo Messi does not start in this second leg. That's a good thing for us. But of course, you guys know, Kylian Mbappe does. And he is one of the danger men for, of course, this PSG team. So 
Got to be careful already, Mbappe trying to make an impact in this game. But Harvey Elliott could bring the ball forward here. I'm going to go for a just a long ball to just test out the situation. But Romagnoli is still a very capable defender. And no Marquinhos for PSG, but doesn't mean Romagnoli is going to let me by. Oh, they've made a mistake. And Harvey Elliott's capitalizing on it. I see Neymar making a brilliant run. Neymar on the volley. No, 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 no. Golden chance for us. And Neymar hits the post. No! Oh, it just hit me that that was the opportunity. I don't know why it felt like I... Oh, it just hit me. That was the dream opportunity. And oh, I'm gutted now. But you know what? Spaces are opening up. Spaces are opening up. Here's Harvey Elliott. You know what? I'm going to be sweaty. I'm going to be sweaty. Call me the sweatiest player on FIFA history. But you've got to do it. Because you've got to do it. PSG committing way too many players forward. But you know what? We've got a Champions League at stake here. Semi-final position on the line. Am I going to be sweaty? Of course I am. Harvey Elliott making that run in behind. We found him brilliantly. And all he had to do was square it for Jonathan David, who scores now his 15th goal in the Champions League. This man is unbelievable. And trust me, he's going to end up winning the Champions League golden boot by a landslide. Look at that. Goal number 15 for Jonathan David. 4-2 now in the tie. That is a massive, massive start for us. Oh boy, the pressure's on. Got to keep things under control. Jonathan David. Jonathan David. Jonathan David. What on earth have PSG done? They look completely open. Donnarumma with a big save. Harvey Elliott looking to bring it on his left foot. Finesse shot. Big save again. We might still have a chance. Jonathan David gives it away, but offside. PSG in Paris look completely flustered. This is like the PSG of real life where they just can't figure out how to do. Or maybe they're just missing Marquinhos a lot, but, but their defense is completely open. They can't even get the ball out of the danger zones. Hakim Ziyech on it now. Finally, we're seeing PSG attack. Hakimi with pace. Rafael Garcia is going to close him down, but a mistake there. Matic just kept close to him. Ziyech now. And Matic with a brilliant challenge. That's what you want to see. The Serbian getting it done and now driving it forward. PSG have just committed so many players forward. Matic is going to go for the early cross. Doesn't work, but my God, has it been end-to-end -end in these first 25 minutes? But the advantage is with us. I see Trent. I see Jude Bellingham now making that run. Interesting touch. Goes for the ball back in for Neymar. We should still get it. Heading it down for Trent Alexander-Arnold. We still have it, though. We still have it. Going to keep it. Vasquez from distance striking it. Testing. Testing. But oh, that was wide. We're, we're really on a roll, guys. We're the team looking likely to win. So we need to keep this momentum up, guys. We're playing brilliant football. And I can honestly feel that spot in the Champions League semis. I can genuinely feel it right now. Oh, we just got to keep this up. Oh, Kylian Mbappe breaks through. I don't like this. Shane Hume needs to make the save off the crossbar. This is incredible stuff. Similar to Neymar hitting the post. My good lord, has this been a Champions League classic. And on the breakaway we go. Neymar, no, that was a full hard triangle to pass it to Harvey Elliott. A complete counter-attack wasted. Kylian Mbappe running at us. Problems here. Look at the dribbling. But Tanganga. No, now it's Hakim Ziyech. Can't let him shoot on his left. Kylian Mbappe. Nah, man. We give PSG that goal back. Of course, it's Mbappe. Pawn in the side. Thorn in the side. And oh, fantastic goal. Fantastic from PSG. But avoidable. On the breakaway, we had this space. But keep in mind, it's still 4-3. We're still leading the game. We just got to keep that in mind. I feel like this game, whenever we got the ball to Harvey Elliott, he was the one causing danger. And he causes that again with a lovely pass for Jonathan David. Gets it on his left foot. Goes for goal. You can't stop him. Call him a tap-in merchant. And I'll punch you in the face again. Good Lord, Jonathan David is something else. Absolutely lethal. And once again, supplying the ball to Harvey Elliott means something is happening he has turned his form around this season a lovely through ball between the lines for david and then bang oh that's beautiful that is absolutely beautiful jonathan david at his best goal number 16 in the champions league if this is the last season of s2 gfc if we do go on to win the champions league trust me he's gonna break a champions league record set by cristiano ronaldo yup the most goals in a champions league season Jonathan David can well and truly get past that. That's goal number 16, if I'm not wrong. First half has just been nuts. It's 5-3 on aggregate. Away in Paris, we've delivered. It's not like last season where we bottled. 
It's not like that at all. We've put in a great performance so far. Just got to keep this up. First things, get to halftime with the scoreline remaining the same. There you go. At least that's job done. At least half of it. Second half, let's be on it. We've got a two-goal cushion. That should be enough to send us through to the semis. Let's do it in the second half, boys. Come on, Harrison. Tanganga as well. We want to be careful of the second half early moments cheese. Oh, that's a bad one. That is a bad one on Harvey Elliott. PSG are feeling it. They felt it early on in the last game when Marquinhos got sent off. Now it's Guerrero getting a booking for that. Good stuff. We just need PSG to get push, uh, you know, pissed off. You know they're that kind of a team that... What are they doing right there? Mikel Marino and Rafa Garcia getting a bit close there. <laughs> that was awkward. Kylian Mbappe. Tanganga is not letting any stones unturned. Oh boy, was that some... Oh, that's a bad one from Vasquez. The ref didn't see it. The ref didn't see it. Okay, well, we'll stay quiet about it. We will stay quiet about it. Ooh, wee. That was... Uh, that was... That was a scary one. I thought that could have been a red card, but Kylian Mbappe. Kylian Mbappe strikes for PSG. It's 5-4. If there's one man that could stop us from getting through, it's that man. Kylian Mbappe, he's on it. Does his celebration as well. Oh boy. You know what? We're still leading 5-4. Just got to try and stay composed. Chances will come because they are going to commit players forward. We know that. We just got to be smart about our every move. And that is not being smart about it. Vasquez, what on earth is that? I've noticed already a few misplaced passes from Vasquez. I feel... It's time to get a bit of experience. Pedro Silva, it's your time. I need you to be the destroyer that you are. And I need you to seal this game for us. Risky call? I don't think so. He's got all the experience in the world to do just that. We're going to bring him on. I may be crazy for doing this, but I genuinely feel like Pedro Silva coming on now is needed. We need someone who's got the experience. Who, has, who knows what needs to be done in a game like this. And I'm sure Pedro Silva will do just that. I believe in him, guys. I believe in him. Marco Verratti to put this ball in. Cleared away for us. We should keep it. Come on. Those are the kind of chances we got to keep. Mbappe is on it again. Pedro Silva, I'm controlling him, but I can't. Mbappe is just too good. Killing Mbappe is illegal, man. How is he this good? PSG have the advantage. It's 3-2 and 5-5 five, five in aggregate. I've never seen insanity like this. Killing Mbappe scores a hat-trick and we're 3-2 down. And now PSG have the upper hand. They're going to just sit back a little bit more and let us be the initiators. I don't like this. Ah, oh, All the hard work feels undone, man. All we have to do is hold on. But Kylian Mbappe, from where he shot the ball, there really wasn't much we could do. But there's certainly much. Jordan Damon can do. Oh, my God. Wow. Anything Kylian Mbappe can do, Jordan David can do better. Guys, he is, oh my god, what a player. At this rate, if we end up winning the Champions League, you could say that he's the best player this club has ever seen. I know Harvey Elliott has just picked up a hat-trick of assists, but the quality of this goal to get that done on his left foot in a game that could decide our Champions League fate, it's utterly ridiculous. It's advantage us. This is just a ridiculous back and forth. 6-5 on aggregate. I genuinely can't believe what I'm seeing here. I really can't. This is utterly insane. Who's going to take the match ball now? Both players have got a hat trick. Are they going to get one each? I think so. But right now, that's not our worry. It's about holding on to this lead. Ah, Hakimi's on it. We got we got a half players track back now. Come on. Ah, Ziyech. Oh, he's got the pace as well, but Matic is quick too. Matic is quick. We've held on to that. Hakimi makes a mistake and Matic capitalizes. And now there's space on this side. Neymar passing it for Jonathan David. Releasing this one. And here goes Neymar. Ne here goes Neymar. This is our chance to win this game. Neymar opening up his body. Mistakes were made. And Jonathan David on the rebound. Maybe I should have been sweaty there. Is that going to come back and haunt me? Is that going to come back and haunt me? Trying to get that goal with Neymar. Oh boy, I'm scared. I am genuinely terrified now. This has been ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. Four minutes to go, boys. We can hang on to this. Oh, no. It's killing Mbappe. It's killing Mbappe. The man who's just been on a mission tonight. We've got to prevent that ball from coming to Mbappe. I don't mind keeping it with Ziyech for now. Hakimi. Matic has been better than him in this one. But, oh, the cutback could be on here for Ziyech. I'm scared. I am just defending for my life here. Hakimi puts this back in. The header is wide. Uh, oh, my God. Oh... 
That is, oh my god, a sigh of relief. Oh, wow, wow, wow. The stakes were high there. And the header nope. goes wide as PSG get a bit finicky. There, That's got to be a foul. It is. But it's over. Pedro Silva does the job there. I can't believe what I've just witnessed. Yup, it's Jonathan David taking home the match ball. This might be one of the craziest games of FIFA I have ever played. Full stop. Full stop. Utterly ridiculous. My energy is out. I am done. Can't believe what I've seen here. I just can't. Wow. Three all in the second leg. Jonathan David, Anna Killian and Bob is scoring hat-tricks. Cancel out each other. But on aggregate, we go through. I guess it's that red card that decided everything. I want to see the match facts. I want to see the match facts here because, wow, I expected goals were a lot better, so I think we deserved it. Mbappe just did ma a madness out of nothing. But yeah, we're through to the semis. Unbelievable. Also, guys, a replay on that killing Mbappe header that could have sent us crashing out of the Champions League. Pedro Silva put him off balance, I think, but ultimately, oh my God, the margins. That's how close we were. That is how close we were from getting knocked out of the Champions League. My good Lord. I know you guys are keen for the draw, but we'll keep that for the next episode. It could be Bayern Munich. I'm hoping it's Leverkusen. Could be Atletico Madrid through uh, two. We'll see. You guys know how insane this is. Jonathan David has scored 17 goals in 10 games in the Champions League. Like, what even is this? He is 10 goals clear of anyone else. That's meant to. A quick look at Twitter shows that Ronaldo's record is 17 goals in the Champions League season. We're in the semi-finals and Jonathan David has broken that. That is uh, unheard of. Unbelievable. Anyways, guys, back we go to the Premier League. Yes, we've got another battle that we're fighting. We need to get the result against Brentford. We play them away, but they're 18th in the league. This should be a regular win for us. You know what, guys? At this stage of the season, can we really risk rotating the squad all that much? I think mostly I'm just going to put Dominguez in there. I think we can afford to have Riley Moore, so that's not an issue. That's not an issue, and we're going to sim with this team. Please give me the win. Just give me the win. I don't care how close it is. Jonathan David again stepping up big time. That was a close call, but we get through. I kid you not, Chelsea have dropped points. We needed them to drop points as soon as possible. They have. Now that Brentford win looks even more important. Up next, though, a trip to Anfield. We beat them, and I think the title race is just going to be between us and Chelsea, because then we'll be seven points clear of Liverpool. The pressure is now on Liverpool. We can take this easy. Let's get into it. Now, although I said we can take it easy, we really can't because if we drop points here, it's in Chelsea's hands. So we still got to try and win this. Liverpool at Anfield. Let's go. I think we've just come off war. That game against PSG was war. And now we're back again in it. Ah, oh, Liverpool. But I think the pressure is now on them. Trent playing against his former team, by the way. Yeah, we win this. I think we'll win the league too because... We've got an advantage over Chelsea. We're done with most of our big games, I think. But yeah, it's still going to be 90 minutes of hell. Oh boy. Oh, Salah again. Uh, Matic got something on it. That was oh, a bit of an interesting one on Dahlberg. Matic is really playing her there. But ultimately, Paul goes out of play. Oh, Salah. Inside for Dahlberg. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Mo Salah scores. Liverpool strike first in their quest to get back in this title race. Oh, that's the first goal of the game, but we've shown we can make comebacks. But that's Mo Salah at his absolute best. What a lovely finish that one was. I'm just waiting for Bogle to make that run. And I've played this one over. It's good play. Gonna go for the ball back in. Oh, cleared away, though. That was interesting play from us. Oh, that's good play from them. They're gonna score another one, aren't they? They are. They are. This is horror. This is horror. Liverpool lead 2-0 in a game that we needed to win for the title. This is horror. Worst possible start, and we got to find a way to claw back into this game. Otherwise, things could get really bad for us. This is not the result we wanted. Uh, where's that form that we had against PSG? We need that now. Harvey Elliott looks for Trent. Jonathan David, space is opened up. This man scores literally one chance, one goal. I just don't know how he's this good. How many goals is he going to be on at the end of the season? Like, is he going to touch 50? Might break all sorts of records in career mode for me. It's just insane. I know these... Oh, I, I don't know how to describe him. I have not used a striker that's this efficient in front of goal. 
He always scores the easy goals. He scores the complex goals. He literally does everything. Jota, that is an interesting ball back in. Chamberlain going for goal. That's a big save from Shane Hume. And we need to keep the scoreline tight. That's another very good ball in. What are we doing, man? How did we let too many get that header? How? How, how, how? We need answers. We need answers because that should be illegal. What have we just done? That should genuinely be illegal. Oh, come on, Tanganga. You just didn't get close enough to him. And now Liverpool back on the front foot. That two-goal advantage, we're back to square one. We know we can score against them, though, so things are a bit different. But we need to get that goal soon. Neymar, Dominguez, we could instantly get a goal back and Dominguez scores. What is happening in FIFA right now? It, it just seems like we're scoring at a ridiculous rate and so are the opponents. It just feels free-flowing football. 35 minutes in, it's 3-2. Today's episode has some of the most insane FIFA gameplay I've seen in a long time. Shumeni, going for goal. If that would have gone in off the crossbar, my lord. My lord, what's happening? Harvey Elliott. Against this former team, taking it wide, trying to put it back in. Didn't work, but earns us a corner. We've been bad with set pieces, so I'm going to take this one short. It's Neymar now. He's got space to maybe go with his left foot. Oh my god, how close was Neymar there? Harvey Elliott breaks through. Could this be the time we get the equalizer? I need the cut back to be perfect. Maybe I should have played that one earlier. Okay, this time I'm going to play the corner into the box. We need Tanganku with this header he does, but... Way above the crossbar, too. Chances are coming. We can get back into this one. Here we go now. Here we go now. If you've seen it, I've seen it too. The run from Trent. Oh, that's superb. The first touch I took to just get that shortity that I'm going get to get, get a shot away on goal. And that was what worked for us. Neymar with a peach perfect cross. Maybe I shouldn't have celebrated with Trent, but the moment got be the better of me. Because it, oh, it was a tense moment, boys. We're back in this one. Three all. Nothing separating the two teams now. That first touch from Trent. Ah, oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Three all. Come on. Dolberg. Oxley chamberlain Mo Salah. Too many. Mo Salah again. Ball back into the box. Oxley chamberlain going for goal. Could save Shane Hume. Here we go, Dominguez. Jonathan David has kept himself. Oh, no, he's offside. That was tight. Jota. Jaden Bogle with a big challenge. Rafa Garcia and Bogle making a mess of it. Yota. Now, oh, come on. Silly defending. That was so unnecessary. So freaking unnecessary, man. 4-3 and Liverpool have the advantage and we're on the back foot again. Oh, that defensive mishap there. So freaking avoidable. Huh, that's a very good ball in. That is a very good ball in. What? Guys? How did that go in? Prefer really not to, um, not to speak. How? I need an explanation. How? What? It's impossible for that to go in. That's a free goal that Liverpool have just scored and may have just given Chelsea the complete control over the title. What is happening here? This episode has been a movie, guys. The drama against PSG and now this. Mo Salah with an utterly ridiculous header. 5-3. You know what? If Dominguez can play this one for Harvey Elliott, which he can. Harvey Elliott. That's, that's, he just passed that home. Harvey Elliott just passed that home. Takes the ball. 5-4. Is there time for an equalizer? What is even happening in this episode, guys? Since when have I become a goal-scoring machine? I'm, I've always been defensively terrible, but... How have I scored four goals in this game and I'm still losing? That, that just makes no sense. But we can still fight back, boys. We get one goal here. And that's huge. I'll take a draw at this point. Jonathan David. Now Trent. Trent waiting for that support. The run has come. Oh, but Suchek with the interception. And I think they're going to clear this one away. We, if we can win the ball back quickly. Rafa Garcia does. We're moving it. Dominguez. Trent now. Again for Jonathan David who breaks through. That's lovely. Still Jonathan David. That was a foul. He still has it. No, the ref gives a penalty. No, what's he given there? How did we not score of that though? How did we not score of that? The ref has given a free kick from 18 yards. If I screw this up, I am an idiot, boys. I am an idiot. A free kick from 18 yards. We got to make the most of it. We got to make the most of it. Allison saves. No. We could have gotten a point from this. We could have gotten a point. I am gutted. 
I'm absolutely gutted. Wow, Chelsea bottled it. Chelsea have bottled games on the bounce here because we're still leading the Premier League with five games to go. One point cleared of Liverpool and Chelsea. Liverpool back in the race. Oh, how would a draw been for us from that game if Neymar put that one in? <sighs> Anyways, that's how it ends in the Prem. Next episode, all about the Champions League because the semi-finals will kick off and we'll find out who we're going to be up against. Later the episode, Jonathan David, hands down, got to be him. And with that, we're going to be wrapping up today's episode of the Creator Club series. My voice is gone. This, this is not good for my heart. What an episode it's been. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like, subscribe for new round here. I'll catch you guys for the next one. This series is insane. Peace.